High scoring games are rare, but when they come around they fill everyone with a feeling of joy. Take for example Villa 5, Forest 5 on a Wednesday night. It was a game without logic, frantic and breathless. It seemed like the goals may never stop going again. With that match fresh on the mind, but well, I'm not so fresh on the mind now, we decided to look back at some of the most memorable and ludicrously highly scoring games in English football's recent history. Number 10, Liverpool 4, Arsenal 4. Liverpool and Arsenal are used to scoring goals against each other. When recent games have finished 3-3 three, three and 4-3. In 2009, though, they played at one of the most memorable encounters. Andre and Al Chavanet is most prolific, scoring four, including what looked to be the 90th minute winner. But he did not account for Yossi Ben Ion, who popped up with seconds remaining to convert the ball after it kindly dropped for him in the box. Number nine, Tottenham six, Reading four. Bizarrely, having entered the record books with a 7-4 defeat at Reading, um, at Portsmouth, sorry, Reading nearly matched the feat with another high-scoring defeat just three months later. Their porous defence was breached only six times on this occasion, four of which came from the prolific Dimitar De Beratov. At one point after Dave Kitson's goal in the 74th minute, Reading had led 4-3. Number 8, West Ham 5, Bradford 4. Bradford had raced into a 4-2 lead at Upton Park and looked on the verge of a crucial win. Goals from Dean Ant, Windass, Peter Breedry and Jamie Lawrence had put them in control, but they could not hold out. West Ham fought back and a young Frank Lampard scored the winner with seven minutes remaining. The game was all about the supporters, said the Hammers manager Harry Redknapp. They came to be entertained, and they certainly got their work, money's worth. Number seven, uh, Newcastle 4, Arsenal 4. Perhaps the comeback to be better all comebacks. Newcastle were 4-0 down at half-time, and looked almost certain to be on the end of a thrashing. But two from Joey Barton penalties and Leon Best goal gave them the contention. Then came Czech Tiote, thunderous strike from 20 yards to level the scores. Cued wide for Lins at St James's Park. Number six, Swansea five, Crystal Palace four. This was about as chaotic as Premier League games get. There were seven second half goals scored at Liberty Stadium when Swansea and Crystal Palace met. Four of them in 11 minutes. Palace trailed 3 1 before turning things around to. Lead 4-3, heading into injury time, but too late, Fernando Laurenti goals won the game and left Alan Pardew's players dejected. The last 20 minutes were the craziest I've ever seen, said a dejected Pardew. Number 5, Norwich 4, Liverpool 5. Back when Jurgen Klopp still conceded goals in the early days of his tenure, defending appeared an alien concept for both teams, when it appeared Liverpool would leave Karen with a 4-3 win, having at one point trailed 3-1. But in injury time, Norwich defender Sebastian Bathon headed home the, a header to send the home fans into raptures. Moments later, Adam Lana's body rolled agonisingly into the far corner in effectively the last kick of the game, which sparked wild sideline celebrations. Number four, Tottenham four, Arsenal five. First, fresh off the back of their invincible title winning season, Arsenal were aiming to retain their title but their defence did not prove as resilient as the previous year. That went for some highly entertaining games, the most memorable at White Hart Lane, a crash which ebbed and flowed until Arsenal eventually edged a victory. The Gunners led Spurs throughout the second half after Thierry Henry had levelled on the stroke of half-time. Tottenham repeatedly pegged them back, but Robert Perez's late goal was enough to give them three points. Three, West Brom 5, Man United 5. How else could Sir Alex's final game be? His final game in charge was thrilling. United twice raced into a 3 goal lead. They went 3-0 up and then 5-2 up. But West Brom inspired come by Romelu Lukaku fought back later on. United already scored the title but there was still a hint of frustration. Even on the day, Ferguson's competitive streak remained. Number 2, Manchester United 8, Arsenal 2. It was an idea of Arsene Wenger's long Arsenal career. A team depleted by injuries and suspensions headed to Old Trafford and suffered some humiliation. Gunners were 3-1 down at half-time, but things got much worse. By the end, they conceded 8 and Wayne Rooney netted 3. It was an embarrassing capitulation that only served to undermine the goal between the two teams. You got the sense that Alex Ferguson almost felt pity for Arsenal at full-time. 1. Portsmouth 7, Reading 4. Never before has seen a Premier League game of 11 goals, and never since. What made it more remarkable 
was that it was only 2-1 to Portsmouth at half-time. In the second half, with an explosion of goals, Benjini scored a hat-trick for the hosts. It was like the Rugby World Cup had swept across the nation and washed up the shores in the south coast, wrote David Ornstein in his match report for The Guardian. In the overall game, this would have been a 25-30 thriller. But anyway guys, that's it for this video. Thanks very much for watching. Remember to like, share, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Remember to follow me on Twitter, link in the description below for daily football news. And subscribe to my channel on screen right now. That would be greatly appreciated. Thanks very much for watching. Peace.